and we're talking about wardrobe for women over 30. These are basic pieces that you need to have in your wardrobe because at the age of 30 you hopefully have gone through a lot of different trends but you're really trying to build some good staples that you're spending money on that you can wear year after year. Now one of the most important coats you can ever buy is a basic trench. The trench coat has never gone out of style. It was first developed in the 1920s. It comes in a number of different lengths and colors, but I'm going to give you a few tips on how to purchase the perfect trench, okay? First of all, as you see, a trench coat pretty much is always double-breasted, which means, of course, there's two rows of buttons. And that really tends to be the staple. A lot of times they have epaulettes. Those are those little tabs up here. Um, epaulettes are great just as long as they always end at the shoulder seam. But a basic good trench coat should fit you extremely well. It should drape perfectly, meaning there's no pulling you know, at the derriere. It should um, lie flat. A really good length is either to have it, I wear a lot of pants, but if you wear a dress, a lot of dresses, it should be a little bit longer. The perfect length is right at the knee. And when you open the trench coat, this is really probably the most important item I'm going to tell you about the trench coat. Your trench coat needs to have, of course, the button closures that it makes it nice and neat but you want to make sure that it's lined. Now this is just a basic lining, but some trench coats do come out with the zip out lining. If you're in a colder climate and you travel a lot, or you're just in a colder climate and want to use it as an everyday coat, you want a zip out lining. And that really gives you options to wear it in cold and in warmer weather, like when it's raining. Um, of course, if it's you know, for rain, you want it to be waterproof. Um, and you want it to be in a fabric, a good fabric that is very seasonless, that doesn't wrinkle, that is water resistant. Last but not least, you want some lapels that aren't too big or too small. These are pretty classic. It's a little bit on the bigger side, but it's still a classic cut. You want to make sure that they lie flat. And always check if you're spending this kind of money on a trench coat, really look at the stitching. The stitching here is really impeccable and it really makes the jacket. I've had this jacket for about five years and I get compliments all the time on it. So it's just a really great fashion staple I had to have. The trench coat with a pair of sunglasses is always going to look classic.